Hey guys, Lyrix here, and this is my mock of the Separatist Shuttle, or the Sheathapede. This ship is the newest addition to my Separatist lineup, which includes the Separatist landing craft and the Vulture Droid. I am really satisfied with how this came out, and before we get started, here are some cool shots of the mock. Starting off at the front of the ship, you can see the cockpit as well as a part of the hull, and you can also see the front headlights of the ship. Other details include the paint job as well as the pieces and techniques that went into building this portion of the ship. A special note in design is the angling of the pieces that form the cockpit. Unfortunately, the cockpit cannot seat a droid pilot. Looking above the cockpit, you can see the two pieces that form the antenna of the ship. Moving on to the midsection of the ship, you can see some of the building techniques and pieces that went into building it, such as the cheese slope pieces as well as the tiles. You can also see some rounded bricks. A detail I like is the use of the curved plates and bricks to create a portion of the midsection of the ship. Looking behind it, you can see that the fin and the back portion of the hull are a bit angled. Looking up at the fin, you can see the blaster cannon as well as the pieces that form up the paint job. You can see that it is also tiled off, and this came out really well in my opinion. Moving on to the back portion of the ship, you can see some of the pieces that went into building the paint job of the ship, and you can see it is very tiled off and I really like that look of it. You can also see the cannons on the side of the hull and some more detail. Looking at the very back of the ship, you can see the back of the fin as well as the tail light. You can also see some of the shaping at the very back of the ship that slopes upward towards the fin. Looking below that, you can see the rear access door that can be pulled down to essentially reveal a small compartment that you can put troops in. You can also see beside it are some parts of the landing gear, and that will be addressed later. And to demonstrate the capacity of the compartment of this shuttle, I am putting two battle droids that have been folded up into this compartment. You can see that it is a bit of a tight fit. Now looking at the landing gear of this shuttle, you can see that it is very simple in design. It is a stud and hinge mechanism that allows you to fold up the landing gear and open it when necessary. Though it is a bit of a tedious process with four landing gear legs. And here we have the shuttle with its landing gear locked up. Well, that's it for the Separatist Shuttle. If you like this video, please like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel.